For decades, it's been the top secret military facility that rarely grants access. But today, we've had a glimpse behind the closed doors at Porton Down. In 1915, this was the first standard issue protection against a chemical attack. Over the last century, they've been busy here. This mask is called the S10. It was standard issue since 1985, but it's been updated five years ago. The GSR was developed. It's quick and easy to deploy during a gas attack. Well, the GSR was brought into service predominantly to re re or reduce the, the burden on, on the wearer. And straight away you can see the twin canisters. That means that you're breathing through two canisters instead of one. So that reduces the breathing resistance. You've got the wraparound visor, so you get much better peripheral vision. And you've got a drinking tube assembly here, which enables you to intake water at a much greater rate than you could with the, with the predecessor, the, the, the S10. And importantly, it gives you very, very high levels of protection. How does it feel to wear it? Yeah, I mean, it is, I can definitely feel my breathing is a bit more laboured than it would be. Um, it's a bit like wearing a snorkel mask yeah, in some ways. Yeah. It smells of rubber, but the, the vision is good. I think that's quite impressive. Developing protection for operational troops is only part of the story. Here at Porton Down, they verified the use of chemical weapons in the Middle East in 2013. We had a number of samples from Syria um, that were returned to us for analysis. Um, we were able to find that um, there was evidence that sarin had been used um, from both the environmental samples and the human samples that were submitted to us. And they evaluate threats both at home and abroad. The terrorist threat of, of the use of chemical weapons has increased. We constantly here monitor um, Ter terrorist poison handbooks, for instance, um, that people can acquire, and, and, and it's, it's basically cooking instructions on how to how at home to produce poisons. I wouldn't. I would say in recent years we've seen an increased interest in 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 that area from lone individuals. Criticised by some for not being more open about the animal testing that takes place here, they say it's that very secrecy that ensures our safety. Dan Friedman, Forces News, Porton Down.